This video is going to show you how to uh, create um, links to today and this week, for example, um, in a planner, a PDF planner that you've bought and imported into Zoom Notes. Now you've got to go through a couple of steps, but they're quite straightforward when you know what you're doing. Um, here's one that I've set up already just to show you what I mean by today and this week. So we've got some buttons at the top now, index today, this week, um, and they are going to appear on every page in the planner. Um, if I tap on today, it's going to take me to the page which represents today's date, which is the 22nd of April 2020 um, in my planner. And this week, if I tap on that, then it's going to go to the page which represents the whole week, um, which contains today's date. So the 22nd is here. Um, index takes me back to the first page, um, which I've set up. And I've also set up um, some uh, visual links, um, which uh, show um, today's Day page, um, today's week, and um, today's month. Now, if I click on one of those, it's going to take me to that page. Um, back to the index, so similarly, um, the week, same thing. So, they're a visual way of doing the same um, job as these um, buttons at the top. Um, so if I click over to the planner, uh, which is just newly imported PDF, those buttons and links don't exist yet. First thing you've got to do is to um, assign the date properties to the pages um, in the planner. Now, um, this is quite an easy uh, step as long as you know where the pages are in your planner. So you have to spend a tiny bit of time looking through um, for the um, relevant uh, month pages, week pages, day pages, and finding out their page ranges. So in this planner, I know the first month is um, January, and it's page six, and the consecutive pages after that uh, February, January, uh, February, March, April, etc. So I can go to um, the pages bar, tap on the untitled bit to get the page properties, and um, I'm just going to tap on is calendar page. It is a month, and it's January in 2020. So that does that. Um, now. I can go to select tool and copy prop properties to pages and it says date properties and I want to send it to selected and I know that the range is 6 to 18 copy. So what that's done is um, taken the date properties of this current page that we've just set and copied them to each of the consecutive pages, but it's done an extra thing and it's added to the date. So that next one's February, one after that will be March. Good, so that's worked. And then you do the same thing for um, the weeks. So I've been through already, and I know the first page of the first week in 2020 is page 23. So I'm just going to go in here, this calendar page, week, and right, week starting is in fact just before because it wants the 29th date, the first date in this week, um, December 29. Good, that corresponds. Go back, copy with that, yep. Um, and then we do the same trick here, 
copy properties to pages, selected, and again I've been through and I know the page range is 23-75, copy, and again if we have a quick check for the next page, um, 5-1, yeah, page after that, 12-1, okay, good. And finally, the day pages. Um, I know that we are 112, January 1st. Um, so I'm going to go here, this calendar page again. It is a day, and it's 2020, January 1st. Good, done, done. Same thing here, select, copy properties to pages, page date properties selected. Date range is 112-477. Copy. Great, that should be done, so I'll check the next page. Yeah, 2nd of January, good. Um, so now I'm going to go back to January, back to the index page, great. So next, so if we want buttons on every page, the best way to do that in ZoomX is to use master layers. So I'm going to add one, and um, I'm going to unlock it, make it current, and I'm going to add a Polygon, works fine, uh, rounded corners, that's all right. Um, so I'm going to put one up here, like that, make it a bit bigger. Um, then I can set the link property on here. So I like direct rather than animated. I want um, it to be page, and I want it to be this auto update mode on, and I want it to be today, because it's going to be today's link. Um, that's that. So, um, I'm going to add some text to it. Check the font, that's okay. Um, and it's uh, today. There we go. Um, and whilst I'm doing that, I'm going to add another one, um, which is going to be uh, one that returns to the index, so to this page. So link, page, and it is that page I want done. Um, and I'll do direct. Same thing, bit of text. Index Okay, you can spend more time on these than I'm doing here. Um, then I can go uh, master. Well, I finished that one, so I'll make another one current and I'll lock it. And what that does is it um, copies the changes into the master layer so that it will appear on every page. So I've got the next page now. Oh, yeah, I've got, uh, okay, they need to be a bit smaller. You can tidy those up um, just by unlocking the layer and adjusting the size of those polygons. Um, but the interesting thing now is if I click on index, it's gone to here. Click on today, it's gone to the 22nd of, of um, of April, uh, of April, which is today, and I can go index. That gets me back to um, the index page. Um, now, initially, I also showed you um, how to do a, well, a, a visual um, link to again to today or this week. So uh, I've put a polygon in there, and I'm going to uh, link it. So it's a page link, auto-update mode, same as we did in the master layer to today. 
Um, but for this instance, I'm going to say that use link image, keep it updated, and um, make it direct draw. And what direct draw does is it keeps the clarity good when you zoom zoom in to uh, uh, the link image. So if I zoom in here, and zoom in, it's really clear. Whereas without that on, it just starts to pixelate because it's literally only an image. Um, now this image auto updates so that I can go in and make a change. Blah, 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 good. And I go back to index. And those changes are, are visible in that um, uh, uh, link image and that's kept up to date. Because it's auto updating as well, when you you know I'll close this, open it again tomorrow, this image is going to show Thursday the 23rd. Good. Um, so adding uh, this week is exactly the same. Um, the difference is that uh, you'd choose um, the link this week here. And you see it's updated already, so that's showing this week. This month will be April. Uh, yeah, this week. There we go, week starting 19th. And uh, today, today's date.